This is Michael Lukies from How To Livable. Today I'm going to show you how to import connections onto LinkedIn from your email address. So first off, you want to start at your feed page, which is where I am right now. Then you want to click on my network. Now when you import connections from your email, it will find email addresses that you've sent and received from and compare that to profiles found on LinkedIn. So this is how it finds people that you might be connected to. The good thing about their system now is that after they upload all the email addresses from your email onto LinkedIn, you can select and choose who to add as connections on LinkedIn. So people that you've reached out to for like customer service or um, other people that you don't really know very well, but you've received an email from or sent an email to, you can make sure not to include them um, on your network list. So after getting to your My Network page, we're going to click on Connections here on the left. And once you're here, you're going to add in your personal email address and then click Continue. So I'm going to do that and then we'll, I'll meet you on the next screen. And now you can choose the email address that you want LinkedIn to look through for connections. Now I have mine blocked off, but you can select one of, one of the email addresses that is shown through Google, or you can use another account. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and go on to the next step. Before moving forward, you have to give LinkedIn permission to access your account. Permissions include uh, to see, edit, download, and permanently delete your contacts, which you can do after you upload them. So if you agree with this, you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on Allow. LinkedIn was able to find 790 people that I know on LinkedIn that I'm not currently connected to. So now I can go through each one, select them if I want to add them to my network, because it will then send an invitation through LinkedIn, so make sure you understand that beforehand. Um, and then I'll go ahead on to the next step. So I'm gonna select the contacts that I wanna connect with, and then I'll meet you back here for the next step. Now that I've added new connections to my network, LinkedIn in step two asks you to invite people to LinkedIn that don't currently have a LinkedIn page. Well, how do they know that? They look through the email addresses you have in your email account and they find ones that aren't in their system. So then they ask you here if you want to invite any of those people to LinkedIn. It will send them an invite and then up to two reminders after that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip and go on to the next step. So after pressing skip or inviting people to join LinkedIn, this is the screen you, you'll see. I am just covering up a few pictures of the people that I've invited. Uh, because I didn't ask them for permission to be in this video. So it says you've invited 10 people to connect. You can manage your invitations anytime. And now it wants you to add contacts from another email address to find more connections. So you can manage your invitations, the people that you've invited to join your network, or try another email uh, to find more connections here. So that is how to import connections from, your, from an email address to your LinkedIn profile to your network. If this video has been helpful, please do press like. I'd also love to have you join the How To Livable community by subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Thanks.